So with all of that, I want to return to the question I posed a few minutes ago. What do we know from research about teacher preparation for equity and diversity? So by now, I hope I've persuaded you that in order to answer this question, we have to consider all the qualifications and caveats involved about how people actually do the research. So the question really isn't, what do we know? But what are trends in the findings when researchers construct particular problems, pose particular questions, and design studies in particular ways and in relation to their own positionalities, fields of study, purposes, intended audiences, and larger agendas. As I hope I've made clear, the configurations of these social practices that go with these three different lines of research are quite different from one another, and so not surprisingly, they lead to different conclusions about what we know. So with that said, I want to do a, a look at trends in the findings. So it's important to know first <clears throat> that research on alternative routes as an education policy lever for improving the preparation of teachers for equity and diversity is characterized by inconsistent definitions of traditional and alternative pathways, as well as lots of variation in study designs. We've actually known this for a long time. There, there are more variations within the category of traditional programs and within alternative programs than between them, which makes simply trying to compare traditional and alternative programs to find the best route or the most effective route, not a very sensible research question. And, and researchers have really come to that conclusion. Policymakers, not so much. Um, in short, sorry for the policymakers who are here. Um, in short then, and not surprisingly, the results of recent studies about the impact of policies regulating alternative teacher preparation and certification are inconsistent and ultimately inconclusive. So although alternative pro pathways have grown exponentially in many states and have often, not always, but often been favored by foundations, state, and federal policymakers, the weight of the evidence doesn't suggest that they are superior as a pathway into teaching or that they are a proven solution to the problem of teacher quality and supply for schools with populations that are diverse, minoritized, or poor. Please note, the research also does not show that university programs are a superior route. So because we have the first conclusion doesn't mean we say, oh, well, these other ones must be better. Some studies have found small or no differences in the achievement of students taught by teachers from di different pathways. Some have found that university prepared and certified teachers were more or less effective in some areas and at some levels. And some have found that teachers from alternate routes or programs were more or less effective in some areas and some levels than other teachers. On the other hand, there is evidence that alternate teacher certification and preparation policies have the capacity to change the characteristics of the teacher labor market in some areas, including improving the academic uh, qualifications of teachers and mitigating inequalities in the distribution of well-qualified teachers to traditionally underserved students. There's also growing evidence that some alternative pathways are more effective than university traditional, with all the problems in that term, programs at recruiting teachers of color. And this finding is corroborated by other recent sources, 
that show a significantly higher percentage of teacher candidates of color in many, not all, in many alternate programs compared to many university programs. And those findings are subject to all of the issues about how we define those terms that I mentioned a minute ago.